Cities are amazing. To me, they're very much this extension of a, a larger microorganism that's living, breathing. Not only are cities designed by people, they're built by people, and they're built for people. Hi, my name is Olga Massini. Give, give me a second. A little, little traffic control. I am the director of traffic operations with the city of Edmonton. <laughs> so we were faced with an interesting challenge um, when it actually came to physical distancing in our response to the COVID pandemic. What you see is the 28 kilometers of roadway that's been reallocated for people to maintain that safe physical distance. These urban places are really, a, they're an extension of our own communities and extensions of our own homes and they're really for everybody to enjoy safely. From an engineering perspective and a user perspective, I'm really keen to understand how Edmontonians are using the space and, and how we can leverage the learnings from what we've done with Shared Streets for other safety programs. By reimagining that space, we're making it more inclusive. We're making it a lot safer for everybody. And we have a tool that we have developed right now that can talk to how safe uh, this particular initiative or this particular imagination has been. My team helped with developing an image processing tool uh, that would look at the videos and from the videos first detect if there is any movement, specifically pedestrian movement, and then based on uh, further analytics we were able to pinpoint exactly where they were and how much distance were they keeping uh, between other pedestrians or cyclists. And so the, the first part showed that there was a, a huge surge of individuals using that space. And the results also indicated that there was a 24.5% reduction in the number of social distance violations. And also perhaps the highest percentage reduction in social distance or physical distance violation was observed in that location at 52.4%. And one of the things we noticed was that because of the shared space, we saw a substantial reduction in speeds for the vehicles. The shared space not only created this more uh, inclusive environment, allowing uh, the different types of road users to coexist, but it actually contributed positively towards the improvement in social compliance. We were able to see from the, the Shared Streets implementation was how people were using them. These weren't geared toward uh, one specific mode of travel or another. They really were for, for everybody and everyone was using them in their own way. You know, we really got to look out for each other. We're, we're all in this together in more ways than one, not only in the pandemic, but, it, but when it comes to road safety. When we look at cities and we look at elements like shared streets, they're really important in fostering that connection that breeds greater community. And right now, we face some really tough times ahead of us, now more than ever, fostering that sense of community and that sense of pride and that connection with our city is more important than ever.